Hi guys, welcome to Sons of Cain. On this week's video, we're going to look at a little idea. Don't forget to subscribe for videos each week and push the notification bell, which will give you an email when we post new content. New content is posted on the Wednesday and the Saturday. In Wing Chun, the first form is Sulim Tao, which translates to little idea. So what I'm going to do is demonstrate the first road and then we're going to adapt it for a wheelchair and show a little bit of application. With Sun and Tao, the first road, we begin as always with the salute and the bow in, and then the hands come back into the ready position. So what you're doing is concentrating your weight, crunching down, rooting yourself into the floor, but it's not a heavy stance like you would be in karate, say a Sang Chin stance, where you're really grounded. You're grounding yourself in, but crunching your body in, so you can absorb and redirect energy. The feet, the heels go out, the toes go out, so you're in a parallel stance. Again, we're not rigid and fixed, we're very stable but flexible stance. The hands open, go down, forms cross, palms pull towards you, palms, hands out, into the your position. And as with Chris, he's gone straight down, but obviously here, my shoulders have gone up, I'm crouching, so I'm just going to come forward to come up, so then bring into your Yeah, with the grounding and stance here, he's still sinking his weight down into the chair. So rather than rooting his force into the ground, it's being rooted and embedded into the chair. So first move, left hand, centre line of the body, and it's a short punch at head height. So when this comes in, it's not fixed on the chest, it's away from the chest and it's a rolling punch in and you're aiming for the centre of your own head height. Hand opens, rotates to the outside, comes back. It's then repeated on the other side. So the wheelchair is exactly the same. We've got the centre line. We're coming up into the fist. It comes forward. The hand opens with the palm up, so uh, as you're looking at me, it's going to be right side up, I'm going to the left. The fingers go down, comes back up. And the same with the other side. The next sequence, the left hand opens and the hand comes onto the centre line and you're using the fingertips and this will be striking to the throat or face. The palm rotates to the outside. So it then becomes a vertical and it comes back to the centre line. Again, it's away from the chest. Rotating in, so it's the back of the wrist extending out. Rotating, and there are three of these. I'll make them slightly quicker than they would be normally. On the third one, the palm goes straight out in line with the shoulder. So any attack that's coming in is going to go past the shoulder. You're not going to extend your body or your arm across. Back to the centre line and it's going head high in front of you as a palm strike. Palm rotates up, circles to the outside into a fist, back to the oil position. And then you'll be repeating on the other side. With the wheelchair, it's exactly the same. The hand's coming up. As Sifu says, you can take as long as you like with this, everyone's different. Comes through, comes to a vertical position, and floats just before the chest. 
doesn't come back as Chris said, comes into a back palm strike, repeat three times. With the shoulder movement, you're coming across, you're giving a nice little distance between your shoulder and your hand, and then head height. Again, my height is different from Chris because I'm sitting, but exactly the same. Thanks for watching guys, we hope you liked the video. Um, Sifu Tom actually did a demonstration for me for the wheelchair, so most of the stuff you've actually seen is actually in conjunction with Sifu Tom. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, see a comment down below, let us know what you think. We'd also like to thank our donor for our very nice mugs. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe, don't forget to ring the bell, free the fit.